China is on the verge of launching its own Falcon 9 and Starship rival, a powerful rocket known as Zhuchui-3. Its potential has impressed many across the world, and even Elon Musk himself has acknowledged its remarkable capabilities. But despite that recognition, Musk remains completely confident in SpaceX's ultimate victory. His confidence lies in one powerful name, Starship, the colossal rocket that represents the future of humanity's journey beyond Earth. So so what exactly did Musk say about Zhuchui-3? Why is this Chinese rocket being praised so highly? And most importantly, why does Musk believe it still cannot surpass SpaceX? Let's dive into the details and uncover the full story in today's exciting episode of Great SpaceX. It can be said that China is building a stronger competitive position in the space race than any previous challenger to the United States. That competition has become more intense in recent years, especially with the rise of private air aerospace startups adopting a strategy often described as copy and improve. Among all the companies being emulated, SpaceX stands at the top of the list. Its groundbreaking rockets, Falcon 9 and Starship, have set a new global standard for innovation and reusability. And now, China appears ready to combine the best features of both rockets into a single vehicle known as Zhuchui-3. Zhuchui means vermilion bird and it's a rocket family developed by the Chinese private aerospace company, Landspace. This company has already built and flown Zhuchui-1 and 2. Of the two, Zhuchui-2 made headlines when it became the first methane-fueled rocket in the world to reach orbit and successfully deploy payloads, marking a major achievement for China's private space industry. Building upon that milestone, Landspace has now set its sights on the next evolution, a reusable stainless steel rocket designed to rival SpaceX's most advanced designs. That rocket is in fact Zhuchui-3, and it's been under active development since late last year. The company has already achieved several milestones, including a successful vertical takeoff and vertical landing test reaching 10 kilometers and a static fire test that took place in October this year. According to Landspace's roadmap, they aim to launch the rocket before the end of this year and achieve full reusability sometime next year. What caught global attention, however, was was Musk's public acknowledgement of Zhuchui-3. In a recent online comment, Musk said, If they are lucky, it might outperform Falcon in five years, by which time SpaceX will be launching Starship. That statement immediately sparked discussion. Musk, who is known for his bold confidence, openly admitted that Zhuchui-3 could surpass the Falcon 9 within five years. A surprising concession, considering that the Falcon 9 currently dominates the global launch market with unmatched reliability and reusability. So why did Musk make such a statement? In another post responding to a video of Zhuchui-3's test, Musk explained his reasoning. They have added aspects of Starship, such as the use of stainless steel and methalox, to a Falcon 9 architecture, which would enable it to beat Falcon 9. And that is exactly what makes Zhuchui-3 fascinating. It's essentially a hybrid of Falcon 9 and Starship. In terms of design, Zhuchui-3 stands 66 meters tall and measures 4.5 meters in diameter, with a liftoff mass of about 550 tons. These proportions are very similar to the Falcon 9. However, Landspace is already planning an extended version called Zhuchui-3E, which will reach 76.2 meters in height and have a liftoff mass of 660 tons. The rocket's first stage is powered by nine TQ-12A engines, arranged in a familiar octaweb configuration, just like Falcon 9. The upper stage uses a single TQ-15B engine, completing a nearly identical two-stage setup. The difference lies in the gimbal capability. Only five of the nine engines on Zhuchui-3 can gimbal, while all nine engines on Falcon 9 can. The combined liftoff thrust of the first stage reaches 769 tons, which is slightly higher than Falcon 9's 760. While the Merlin 1D engines used by SpaceX are technically more efficient, the optimized thrust structure of the Zhuchui-3 allows it to perform at a comparable level. As a result, Zhuchui-3 can carry up to 18.3 tons to low Earth orbit in reusable mode and up to 21 tons when expended, which is nearly identical to Falcon 9's capabilities. The rocket also incorporates several familiar features from SpaceX, including grid fins, landing legs, a reaction control system, and strike wings. These components allow Zhuchui-3 to attempt various types of landings, whether on a ground-based landing zone or a floating drone ship. According 
to land space, the rocket is designed for up to 20 reuses, which would reduce launch costs by 80 to 90 percent compared to non-reusable rockets. However, what truly sets Zhuchui 3 apart is its use of stainless steel and methyl ox, both of which are defining characteristics of SpaceX's Starship. Stainless steel provides superior heat resistance, lower production costs, and easier manufacturing compared to traditional aluminum alloys or aluminum for all my red-blooded Americans. Methane, meanwhile, burns cleaner, leaves less residue, and offers long-term potential for deep space missions, including those to Mars. By combining the efficiency and structure of Falcon 9 with the materials and fuel of Starship, Zhuchui 3 represents a strategic attempt to merge the best of SpaceX's two most successful designs into one vehicle. That is why even Musk acknowledges that, with enough luck and precision, it might one day outperform the Falcon 9. But the key question remains, can it truly surpass SpaceX? While Zhuchui 3 is an impressive achievement, SpaceX is already operating far ahead in terms of scale, experience, and technical mastery. By the time Zhuchui 3 reaches its full potential, SpaceX will likely have perfected Starship, a rocket far larger, more powerful, and more capable of interplanetary travel. In other words, Zhuchui 3 may catch up to where SpaceX is today, but SpaceX will already be shaping the future of human spaceflight. So what do you think about this ambitious Chinese copycat? Can it truly challenge SpaceX's dominance in space? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX and the evolving global space race. For me, the answer is clear. Zhuchui 3 is an impressive milestone for China's private space industry, but it's still far from rivaling SpaceX, especially once Starship reaches full operational capacity. Even Musk himself himself recognized the rocket's promise, yet quickly put it into perspective. As he wrote in one of his tweets, Starship in another league. That single remark perfectly captures the reality of the competition. Starship, as we know, is not just the largest rocket ever built. It's a symbol of a new era in space transportation. Standing over 120 meters tall, and potentially stretching close to 150 meters in the future iterations, it absolutely dwarfs Zhuchui 3 in both scale and capability. Capability. To put it in perspective, the Starship booster alone is taller and more massive than the entire Zhuchui 3 vehicle. When you compare the two side by side, Starship's towering presence makes Zhuchui 3 look like a medium class launcher rather than a rival. Then comes the question of power. SpaceX's latest Raptor 3 engines each produce 280 tons of thrust at sea level. With 33 of these engines on the booster, Starship's total liftoff thrust exceeds 9,000 tons, and SpaceX aims to push this number past 10,000 in future upgrades. These figures are not just high, they are revolutionary. Zhuchui 3, by contrast, delivers less than one-tenth that amount of thrust. It's a remarkable machine for its class, but it cannot hope to rival the brute force and sheer ambition of Starship. And with power comes payload. This is where SpaceX's philosophy of continuous improvement truly shines. As much Musk explained, the next Starship launch is version 3, which is radically better than version 2. Then, in a few years, V4 will double the payload of V3. Starship's current versions are designed to carry over 100 tons to low Earth orbit, while the planned V4 could exceed 200 tons. This means Starship will be capable of lifting 10 times more payload than Zhuchui 3 at a fraction of the cost per kilogram. It's not just competition, it's domination through scale, innovation, and relentless iteration. Reliability also plays a crucial role. SpaceX's rapid evolution means each generation of Starship isn't just stronger, but smarter, addressing failures, refining systems, and improving turnarounds. Musk's phrase, radically better, likely includes advances in reliability, a vital factor for any rocket aiming for consistent reuse. SpaceX's experience from over 550 Falcon 9 launches has already given them the world's most proven reusable architecture. Zhuchui 3, by comparison, has not even reached orbit. Its path to Falcon 9-level dependability will be long and steep. Another crucial difference is the degree of reusability. While Zhuchui 
Parkway 3's first stage aims to land and be reused up to 20 times, its second stage remains expendable, much like Falcon 9's upper stage. Starship, on the other hand, is fully reusable. That means both the booster and the spacecraft. This complete reusability is the heart of Musk's vision to make access to space as routine and affordable as air travel. Every recovered and relaunched Starship saves immense costs, propelling SpaceX further ahead. The recovery method itself marks a leap beyond anything Shuchui 3 plans to attempt. SpaceX's Mechazilla system, which involves massive steel arms that catch the returning booster, represents one of the most ambitious engineering concepts in the history of rocketry. While still under refinement, this system promises faster turnaround, reduced wear, and minimal refurbishment between flights. Once perfected, it'll allow Starship to launch and relaunch in rapid succession, perhaps multiple times per day something no other rocket concept even approaches. Even Musk's five-year timeline for Zhuchui 3 to outperform Falcon tells us more about SpaceX's pace than Landspace's progress. As Musk clarified, it'll take them over five years to reach Falcon 9 levels of reliability and production slash launch rate. That means Zhuchui 3 won't even reach today's Falcon 9 performance until around 2030, and that's assuming everything goes right. Meanwhile, SpaceX will have transitioned almost entirely to Starship, leaving Falcon 9 as a mature legacy system. And let's not overlook Falcon 9's incredible legacy. With over 550 successful launches and more than 100 flights annually for two consecutive years, it's already the most reliable and frequently used orbital launcher in history. Its reusability records, including some boosters that flew over 20 times, set a standard that no other company has yet to match. Musk even reminded the world recently, the SpaceX Falcon rocket will do more launches and carry more payload to orbit this year than the space shuttle did in its entire history. That's the benchmark Zhuchui 3 faces. Even so, Zhuchui 3 is a contender worth watching. It's remarkable how this company has managed to emulate and blend key elements from SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Starship, creating a hybrid design that could propel it further than many expect. So as we look ahead, the question isn't whether Zhuchui 3 can beat SpaceX, it's how close it can get before Starship leaves the rest of the world behind. And with that, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.